Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel WebLearnX. This is Virendra Kumar Singh. Today I am going to explain how to create any project as resource server. So let's get started. First, let's understand what is the resource server. Means resource server which uh, is a server which is required the access any endpoint by help of any tokens so in spring boot there is a one annotation enable resource server if we open the enable resource server annotation with the spring main file then it any endpoint required to access with the help of token only without token it won't be able to access any endpoint so let's understand with the example so I have one predefined a uh, pre setup Spring Boot project. So let's first understand what dependency I have added. So there is no any extra dependency. Whatever dependency I have added my last video. So this is the auth2 starter cloud and uh, Spring Cloud starter security. So these two dependencies is required for this. So I added the d two dependency and I have added here enable resource server means I want to create this project as a resource server means if I want to access any URL, let me show the URL I have created slash one url is the slash and one url with the employee details if i want to access any this url i need to require the some access token to access this url so how to get the access token so for access token i have added one small configuration in my project so i am going to deploy this project on 8 uh, 5000 port and I want to access my token from HTTP. My last project I have shown you about the URI. So let me show my last project. In property file, in this project, in property file, this is the user info URI. By using up this URI, I will enter in my GitHub in, uh, uh, server and let me create one endpoint to get the tokens so I have already set up it let me comment out of this so I'm I have cre created one get tokens URL and anyone when try to get tokens then it will return the whatever the tokens so using up this token we can access this url means uh, my current project url so here i have auto wired oauth2 client context and using up this i get the get access token dot get value so it will return the token information from the github server so let's run both application so let first run this one maven clean build is successfully let me deploy this project run as a java application now my application is up and running on 500 port let me hit url so i'm going to hit this url so you can observe here it is asking for the full authentication let me try with the user id password so let me add the some basic authentication and i have added my user id and let me copy the credential here this is the default password which is provided by the Spring Boot. 
so let's try this so again it, it's asking for the full authentication it's not satisfied with the this user id password because it's a resource server so it's required the authentication tokens so let's generate the authentication token so let me run my prior project this project because i have added my authentication tokens in point in this project and this project uh, auth2 project which uh, which is get the token from the my github url i have configured the my git github details here and uh, all these things i have shown in my last video so let me build project this project going to run on the 8080 and get tokens with the endpoint which is provide the tokens let me install build is completely let me deploy it now <coughs> project is running out 8080 report so let me generate the token let me try on localhost 8080 slash get tokens so it will ask the authentication first from the my github it's a redirecting on my github url so i have already said my let me login so once it's logging successfully then it will redirect and generate the token so you can observe here it's provided one token let me try this token to access whatever the url so i have let me pass this url as a bearer token sorry not a url this token as a bearer so i have my endpoint is localhost 5 uh, localhost 5000 slash employee and i am going to pass the authorization and with the bearer tokens so let's try to send the request so you can observe here i got the my result using up that tokens so let me show you the result details so in here you can observe here i pass the some hard coded information user employee information and with the salary and employee id and i return the value only so once i pass the url with token then it will access able to access successfully access my url let me try with the some wrong token so it's showing the whatever the tokens is i have passed is wrong so this is the way we can create any <coughs> resource server using up spring boot so friends i am going to upload these two project on the github please try from your side and please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon for the notification and like and share thanks